Yes, I picked it all out yesterday, Mary Jane. The most beautiful furniture you've ever seen in your life. Yes, it's expensive, $1,500, but I can pay it off in three years. <laughs> yeah, I got the contract right here. Well, all I have to do is get Mr. Mooney to co-sign it for me. Oh, come on. Now, he can take it out of my salary, and that way I'll be sure of my job. <laughs> yeah, he'll never fire me as long as I owe him money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, m m oh, yes, Mr. Mooney's a wonderful man when you get to know him. <laughs> kind and generous to a fault. Oh, sure, he's a little gruff now and then, but that's just a front. Underneath that rough exterior beats yeah, a hard heart of gold. gold. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll have to call you back, dear. <laughs> you can skip the eulogy. I'm not gone yet. Eulogy? Oh, what a terrible thought. Don't even say such a thing. Well, I don't know what I'd do around here without you. You'd goof off all day long. That's what you'd do. Well, I was just telling Mary Jane that in spite of our little misunderstandings now and then, you're uh, really the best friend that I have. Mrs. Carmichael, if I'm the best friend you have, you're destitute. <laughs> Whatever it is you're firing up your boilers for, the answer is no. Oh, I was just hoping that you'd do me one little favor. Do me one little favor and get those letters if they're ready. Yes, sir, they're ready. Oh. And there's not one single mistake in them either. Well, I'll have to take your word for that. You mean this time uh, you're going to sign them without reading them first? Yes. <laughs> well, gee, that makes me feel very good, Mr. Mooney. That that, uh, that proves that you have confidence in my work. No, it simply proves that I'm in a hurry. Let me have them. Let me have yes, them. Yes, sir. Everything's right here. Everything. All, right. All you have to do is just sign them at the bottom, sir. I know where to sign a letter. <laughs> What's this? What's this? What? What's what? A contract with the Royal Furniture Company for uh, fifteen hundred dollars? Oh, oh, that's not for you, Mr. Mooney. That's mine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yours? Fifteen hundred dollars? Uh, well, yes. I, I, I'm buying some new furniture for my apartment. That um, really was what I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Mooney. You see, uh, I need a co-signer, and I thought maybe you. Me? <laughs> Co-sign? Well, it's just a formality. I wouldn't co-sign a $1,500 note for my mother. <laughs> and I like her. <laughs> Here, have that notarized, please. Yes, sir. Well, uh, Mr. Mooney, couldn't I just talk about my... Wouldn't you just yeah. talk about my new... One furniture? more word about your new furniture, and I'll be talking about a new secretary out. I'll open the door first and get out. <laughs> Colonel Bailey here. <laughs> Good to see you. How do you feel? I couldn't feel better if I was a sprig of mint swimming in a tall, frosty julep. <laughs> How's the banking business? Have you robbed any widows and orphans today? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yes, we... Bankers love that joke. But enough of this levity. Let's get down to business. Talk about the money you're going to make. Oh, yes, let's do that. I don't mind telling you, Colonel, I am happy to invest in any project of yours at any time. Due, no doubt, to the fact that your little investment in my pickle business has earned approximately 312% to date. Oh, yes, that was a good investment. <laughs> well, pickles were natural for a couple of old sourpusses like us. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, uh, let's discuss our new uh, project now. Uh, what is it? Beans, Theodore. Beans. Bailey's Barbecued Beans. Beans? Beans. And I'm launching them today with the same campaign that made Bailey's Pickles an instant success. The money-back guarantee. Go on, go on, yes, 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 yes. This poster is going up today in every grocery store in town. Bailey's Barbecued Beans. The best beans you ever ate 
or double your money back. Sounds like another winner. My beans may change the name of Boston to Bailey. I hope they change the name of Mooney to Money. <laughs> That's kind of a little... Uh, well. <laughs> I have a check for $5,000 right here. A wise investment. I have just okay 200 radio and TV singing commercials for our new product. Oh, I like the way you do things, Colonel. So do I. <laughs> Bailey's beans, Bailey's beans, price for folks of every means. Fix a pot, hold a hot, the good old Bailey's beans. Don't delay, go today to your nearest store. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Whoa! Bye, Bailey's beans. <laughs> Bailey's beans, Bailey's beans may make me a man of means. There you are, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mooney, I was just thinking, if you won't co-sign to finance my new furniture, would you please authorize a $1,500 loan on my old furniture? Ah, now you're talking about collateral. I am? <laughs> and that's different. That's different. Oh. All right, now, how much did your old furniture cost? $800. $800. And I still owe the finance company $700. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael? Yes, sir? You expect me to authorize a loan of $1,500 on furniture that cost $800, on which you still owe $700? Well, certainly, $800 and $700 equals $1,500. <laughs> Only an idiot would give a loan under those conditions. Well, I don't know any other idiots. You're the only one I know. What? I mean... Never you're... mind what you mean. Get to work, get to work, get back to work. Yes, sir. <laughs> ha! If that isn't a ridiculous statement. What ridiculous statement? That ad, best beans you ever ate. You certainly aren't the best beans I ever ate, I can tell you that. No, don't bother telling me, because I'm busy doing other things. Best right? beans I ever ate, my mother baked. Oh, boy. She baked the best beans in the whole world. Everybody said so. I could eat those beans three times a day. Mrs. Carmichael? Yes, sir. <laughs> Would you like to continue to eat three times a day? Sure. Then get to work! <laughs> Better's out of here before you leave. Yes, sir. What's this? What's what? Six cents postage? It only cost five cents to send a letter. Oh. Oh, well, I ran out of five cent stamps, so I put two threes on it. It's okay because. It is never okay to waste money. Oh, it's only a penny. Only a penny. Oh, ta 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 ta. <laughs> if you would just learn the value of a penny, you wouldn't have to borrow money for new furniture. How much furniture can I buy for a penny? <laughs> just listen. If you put one penny in the bank today, two pennies the next day, then four the following day, and keep doubling the amount each day, you would have enough money to buy your furniture in 19 days. You're kidding. <laughs> you mean if I doubled a penny 19 times, I'd have $1,500? You would have more than $1,500. Now, you just think about that. Thank you, gentlemen. This is very nice of you donating your furniture to charity. Oh, that's all right. I'm very happy to do it. I'm just sorry that my furniture isn't in better condition. Oh, that's all right. Our charity is donating it to another charity. <laughs> Hi, Mary Jane. Hi. Hey, I don't understand. I thought Mr. Mooney wouldn't co-sign for your new furniture. I don't need Mr. Mooney to co-sign. Well, how can you afford new furniture? This is how. 
look at this sign. Isn't that the most ridiculous claim you ever saw in your whole life? The best beans you ever ate. <laughs> yeah. Now, that might be true for some people, but not for me. Because the best beans I ever ate are the beans that my mother baked. And anyone that puts out a phony ad like that deserves to furnish my apartment for me. Oh, Lucy, nobody's gonna furnish your apartment just because your mother bakes better beans. Ah, that's where you're wrong. Now, look, I have the most fantastic idea you ever heard of. And it's so simple, it scares me. All your ideas scare me. <laughs> Don't worry about this one. I got this idea from Mr. Mooney. Mr. Mooney? Yeah. Now, look, all we have to do is buy one can of beans for 25 cents. Take it back, and we get 50 cents. 50 cents? That's right. Double your money back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and then we take the 50 cents and buy two cans, bring them back, and we get a dollar. Then we buy four cans, yeah. and we get two dollars yeah. back. Eight cans, and get four dollars. 16 cans, we get eight dollars. Wait a minute, Lucy, don't you think the math store is going to get suspicious if we keep bringing back more and more cans of beans? Oh, we don't go to just one store. I got it all figured out. Now, look at this. Look at this map. <laughs> Pinheads there? Yeah. Well, all those pinheads are marking the stores in this whole location. Well, what are these two pinheads down here? Those two pinheads are us. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Operation Bean. <laughs> This is our fourth market, and so far it's working like a charm. It sure is. It seems like Christmas. Yeah, and here's our Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, uh, pardon me, sir. Are you the manager? Yes, ma'am. Something I can do for you ladies? Uh, yes, I bought these beans, and I'd like to return them, please. Return them? Eight cans? Uh, that's right. Double my money back, like the sign says. <laughs> oh, but you could have... You could have found out if you liked them or not in one can. How come you bought eight? <laughs> Look, mister, I don't tell you how to run your grocery store. Don't you tell me how to furnish my apartment. <laughs> tell me one thing, lady. If you didn't like these beans, why did you buy so many? The price was right. <laughs> just don't understand it. Addison, you're the sales manager here. Explain what's going on. Yeah, somebody better explain it. We've been shipping beans into that area for three weeks now, but the chart goes up and down, up and down. <laughs> it looks like a ride at Disneyland. <laughs> That's very funny, sir. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny either. My reports show we've sold 1,500 cans of beans in that area. Uh, that's right. But our income is minus $400. Minus? How did that happen? Yes, how did that happen? <laughs> I, I don't know, sir, but we'll certainly find out. You bet you'll find out. I put $5,000 in this bogus bean business. I expect to make money, not be drowned in red ink. Oh, now, patience, Theodore. Oh. Patience, these things take time. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. We're not in the construction business. <laughs> We're in the bean business. Don't worry, Mr. Mooney. We'll get to the bottom of this. You're already at the bottom of it. <laughs> It all. Ain't gonna do no good you standing there cackling like a hen laying a square egg. Colonel Bailey. Yes. Colonel Bailey, Colonel Bailey this yes. is Perkins in the sales department. The West Side reports that 3,000 cans of beans have been sold just today. 3,000? Yes, sir, and in one area. This is the breakthrough I've been waiting for. Well, Theodore, what do you think of our methods now? Well, I've. <laughs> Bailey's beans, Bailey's beans, as you told them every bean, good or hot, get a pot of good old Bailey's beans. <laughs> about that 
it, Chief. <laughs> okay, out this Let's way. Get out of here. There you are. Ooh. Are you out? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Gee. Oh, Lucy's that the last load? Yeah, 3,000 cans of beans. English translation, $1,500. Isn't that great? Oh, it's great, but I'm pooped. Yeah, let's sit down and relax a while. Relax? Where? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> well, let's see now. I think our warehouse needs a woman's touch. early pork and beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure got to hand it to you. This is the greatest idea anybody ever pulled off. You know what I'm dying to see? What? The look on Mr. Mooney's face when he finds out that I have my new furniture and I tell him how I paid for it. <laughs> Boy, will he be proud of me. Oh, yeah. And he'll be so happy when he finds out that I got the whole idea from him for this, this whole scheme. Yeah, but you know, Lucy, I'm kind of worried. About what? <laughs> well, about all these beans. How are we going to take them back? We've already hit every store in the area. Well, now, we're not going to hit any more stores. We're going to zero in on the factory. <laughs> the factory? How are we going to get all this stuff at the factory? Don't you worry about a thing. I got everything arranged. I called a friend of mine, Frank Winslow. You remember him? He worked for the construction company. He's the big fella. Yeah, the big one, yeah. Well, I called him, and he promised to help me, and he never lets me down. There's good old reliable Frank now. Oh, Bailey B. Hello? Yeah, hi, Frank. You mean I can have it today? Oh, thank you. You're a pussycat. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Seth, that quick? Yeah, Frank never asks any questions. Why not? Well, he says my answers make him too nervous. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get all this stuff ready for loading. Okay, yes. <laughs> Take care of that right away, sir. <laughs> Mr. Bailey? Colonel Bailey. Oh, Colonel Bailey. Colonel Beauregard Bailey. Colonel Beauregard Bailey. Well, I do declare. What can I do for you, young lady? Well, now, I really hate to bother a busy man like you, but, well, sir, you see, I bought some of your barbecued beans. Yes, everybody seems to be buying them. Aren't they sensational? Uh, well, now, I don't want to hurt your feelings, sir, but I can't honestly say that they're the world's greatest beans, and I'd like to return them. What? Why, I don't understand it. I know this business, and I know we put out the best beans anyone ever ate. Well, I'm sure that you're very sincere, sir, but you've never tasted my mama's beans, and, and they're the best I ever ate. Now, we're not trying to put mamas out of business. <laughs> but you could have gotten your money back at the grocery store. Why'd you bring this down here to me? Well, now, because I want to tell you how much I admire the straightforward way that you do business, Colonel Bailey. <laughs> when I first read that guarantee, I didn't know whether you really meant it or not. Oh, my dear. 
The Bailey Bean Company means every word we say. Oh. We stand behind every bean. Oh, now, isn't that nice? You mean that guarantee is good for every little old can of beans that you sell? Every little old can. <laughs> and I'm delighted to have a chance to prove it to you. Now, you let me have that can. Yes, sir. And for bookkeeping purposes, I'm going to have to pay you by check. Well, that's quite all right, Colonel. But before you fill out the amount, uh, I do have a few more cans outside. Oh? <laughs> yes. You just make it out to Lucille Carmichael. Lucille Carmichael. Now, that was two L's. Two L's. Yes. Lucille Carmichael. Two <laughs> Celebrate. Mm. Beans okay? Mm. Not bad. Mm. In fact, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Lucy, what's the matter? These are the best beads I ever ate in my whole life. <laughs> Oh, Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, I can't take the money. I can't take the money. If that's the furniture, send it back. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael! Mr. Mooney, what are you doing here? I happen to be an investor in Bailey's Bean Company. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, hello, Colonel. And I have just learned of your conniving, swindling scheme. Oh, don't bother to yell at me. Oh. Here, here's your check, Colonel. I can't take your money. How come? Because it's true, these are the best beans I ever ate in my whole life. They are? Yes. Do you see? How about that for a testimonial? Furniture for Carmichael. Oh, please, take it back to the store. I can't pay for it. I'm sorry. Oh, just a little old minute here. <laughs> Gentlemen, you bring all that new furniture right in here. I'll pay for it. You will? I'll be glad to pay for it. Because you're the most wonderful testimonial my company has ever had. Well... From now on, you're gonna be known as Bailey's Bean Queen. Bean Queen? Your picture will be on every signboard in the country. Gee, Mary Jane, I'm a bean queen. <laughs> Bailey's Bean, Bailey's Bean's right on the The Lucy Show.